there you are, you're hiding on the ceiling. Hello everyone. Hello Jeff. It's only me and you at the moment. Someone else maybe, I don't know. Oh, hey boy. Uh, bonjour mon ami. Uh, mon midnik, mon bohemians, comme ça va ce soir. And strike back to Cockney. That's the French, means we're doing a little bit of um, an, a collaboration with uh, a fantastic French um, movement. Hello Christine. A little wave back. Good to see you, my lovely. Um, and um, and so uh, yeah, well we're back again. So um, um, yeah, that's my French for the evening. Anyway, welcome back to uh, the end of time and the birth of the United States of dystopia or whatever the hell's going on. Um, um, Firstly, I've got to say thank you to everyone who joined in last week and watched the Rart and Seti uh, Resurrection, uh, two weeks ago, Resurrection show. Um, it was great fun to do, really hysterical, uh, had a right good laugh. And thanks especially to Seti for coming along and helping set it all up and, and making it happen. Um, we had a good laugh, loved it, great fun. And, well, on that note, it's from the ridiculous to the sublime. Um, if anyone saw last week's show, you will know that comment. Um, great fun though. Hello Mia, you're right, lovely. Um, and uh, first I'm aware that we've um, got some new attendees from around the world. Um, so, a bit of a prior warning. Um, we don't do things uh, as normal, we like to do them a little bit different. Um, we basically have fun and dismiss all the pretentious um, crap that comes with a lot of white wall galleries and stuff like that. Uh, so therefore I apologise for any bad language or any offensive remarks I may make. I apologise for them, I don't give a fuck, but I do apologise for them. Don't mean it, I don't really care. So make it that what you will. One thing I do apologise for, um, genuinely, is any mispronunciations I make of people's names um, in my vast Cockney accent. I'll, I'll give it a best, but uh, I've got, I think, a Russian and a Polish name to cope with tonight, so you'll have a laugh at that. Um, right, where are we up to here? Um, so, I'm sorry if I don't get your names wrong, I do apologise. The show tonight um, is um, the fourth Copy That show, and if uh, people didn't see it before, Copy That was set of three exhibitions entitled Copy That, because Copy That is what you send um, over the radio when you receive a message saying, no, I've received this, I've, I've got this, and also copy that because they're all copied. Simple, isn't it? Um, uh, and it's the first in association with another organisation, uh, the wonderful London uh, drawing, Life Drawing uh, Montmartre. Um, the Life Drawing Montmartre people are just fantastic. Um, to give you a bit of a background, um, I basically have, um, I had a, a, a wonderful gallery in Montmartre uh, called the Untitled Gallery and they used to put on drawing sessions there, um, I, uh, the brilliant sessions, really well done, really professional, really good um, and they've, due to this bug thing that's knocking about or something, uh, they've had to go online and do it, same as we all have really, uh, and so they've done three sessions with a um, fantastic model called Denny um, and this is a collection of drawings uh, from the three sessions, most of them are from the last session, the, the Dagar um, inspired session um, and they're all uh, then emailed to me and I, I phone call, not phone call, I get them printed in, in black and white, I can only afford black and white ink or black ink, sorry about that, but um, all the originals will be on uh, the lockdown Facebook page for people to see in their, their full glorious colour and all their great details and everything and with the artist's name so you can always get in touch with the artist if you want to buy or you want to contact them and have a chat and other things like that. So uh, yeah that's uh, Life Drawing McMart. Um, and I know they're hoping to get um, physical life drawing back on track um, October I think uh, was the last quote but I don't know, we might have all exploded or something by then. Um, if we haven't already melted or been washed away or struck by lightning or whatever. Um, it's definitely the end of the world. It's quite fun, I'm loving every minute of it. 
Um, anyway, as I say, it follows the same uh, basic background as the other copy that exhibitions. Um, and um, uh, it, the original works will be um, put up on the Facebook page either tonight or tomorrow, depending on how pissed I get tonight. Um, more likely a bit more. At my age, I'll probably just have a drink and fall asleep tonight. But um, anyway, yeah, probably be up tomorrow. Uh, so before the government decides that we're, we're not allowed to have fun or breathe anymore, we better get on with the show. Before they nuke us all for something or the other, I don't know. Uh, right, off we go. Let's do the actress and bishop thing as normal. Flip you over like a little piggy on a spit. There we go. Right, as usual, private viewing, red wine. Got to be done. So, cheers, everyone. Oh, Aldi's Basement Bargain Bucket Bonanza. And it's still one of the best wines I've ever tasted. Bloody lovely. Right, first up, I've got them into this. this um, Two of each uh, for from each person, so um, all in their little groups. So first up we have Eric Delaunay, um, and these are very precise, lovely kind of like I don't know if it's Conte pencil or what he uses, but they're on they're on a kind of a, a, a beigey coloured background and that. So you've got the highlights being brought out here, and that stands out terrifically uh, on the. Um, actual originals and uh, this was from the last session um, where, with Denny um, doing the, the Degar poses, all, all built around Degar's bow, um, or Degar's uh, bath um, pose. So that's that one. And this is a lovely one of her in a, in a kind of uh, towel wrap. Again on the same kind of pastel backgrounds with the Oh, I might have bought for it. And uh, most of the artists have sent in a little write-up about themselves, so I can, I can tell you a little bit. Now, um, Eric says um, uh, he's uh, usually uh, uses NZE as his signature, if anyone wants to find him, I think, on Meetup or social media. Hello, Mandy. Hello, darling. You all right? Oh, are you going... To, hello. Sorry, interrupting everything. Are you going to the uh, golf club on Saturday at Voops, Mandy? Anyway, back to the show. Hello, Maria. Um, and uh, he, he says, uh, you can see my work on nze slash art.com. So if you like this, go on there and have a look. It, it's, um, it's great stuff. Um, I had a quick look uh, yesterday. But the site only works really well on cell phones. So, well, most of us use cell phones, I suppose, now anyway. Um, and he's already shown his work in Paris, New York and Tokyo, but never in London. So there you go, mate, there's a first one for you. I'm proud to, proud to be the first person to show it over here. Can't say I'm particularly proud to be British half the time, especially at the moment, but I'm proud to show your work over here. There you go, have a quick close-up. So, that's Eric's. What? Now we have a uh, lovely lady, Christine. Um, now I actually know Christine. Um, I had met her at, life, at the physical life drawing systems in Paris a couple of times. Um, she's a lovely lady and um, I think it comes from uh, Britain at one point and so we always talk about how crap it is over here and uh, the usual weather and politics and stuff like that. But um, yes, yeah, she's adorable. And I'm so pleased to have her on board as in part of the exhibition. Um, and um, hopefully I'd love to catch up with you again. I'm hopefully trying to get over there very soon, but more about that later. So, uh, yeah, this is Christine uh, Connolly. And there we go. And these are kind of charcoal pastel drawings. And they are so much better, obviously, when you see them on the website in colour. But this is the only way we can do it, obviously, not being able to socially engage with um, uh, the human race anymore. Is it a race anymore or is it a human slow crawl, I think, now? There's no race involved, is it? Everyone's lost, I think they've been winners. Anyway, enough of my crap. Um, and there's a beautiful face on it. This is really lovely when you see it. 
Um, it, it's her in the, her towel turban again. It really has captured Denny. It really has. Denny's got these beautiful big soulful eyes as well. Really lovely. Well, and first of all, and Christine says, um, Christine is an Irish figurative artist raised in a large family with 11 siblings. Oh dear, 11. Um, uh, siblings meant there were always plenty of people to draw. After training as an art teacher at Leicester University, UK, she taught in England and then in Madrid. All the while drawing and painting, mostly portrait commissions. Alongside a career in PR in Johannesburg and London, she continued to develop her drawing and painting techniques and to experiment with different media, oil, acrylic, pastel and watercolour. Uh, then came the move to Paris, where she still lives and works, and I'm very jealous. Um, in 2001, she decided to concentrate solely on her art. She studied figurative painting for many years in the ateliers of the city of Paris under the guidance of Antoine Patel and Gonzalo Belmonte. Uh, Connolly takes a break from her studio to attend life drawing sessions at the Grand Chaumier in Montparnasse. Um, I think I've been there, it's wonderful. Um, yes, I have, I've done a life drawing session there myself. It's amazing, it's the old one, I think, where uh, Picasso and all that used to draw. Um, oh, you just walk into the building and you're overwhelmed. If it's the same one, you're overwhelmed by its sense of history and its beauty. It's, oh, it's wonderful. Uh, it is very convivial and helps hone drawing skills. She's a firm believer that drawing is the basis of all figurative art. Definitely, yeah. Exhibitions include solo and group shows in Paris, London and Barcelona. She has participated in art fairs in Paris, notably the Salon de Autumn Centenary and at the Carousel de Louvre. Uh, she won the gold medal for her painting prose at the Salon de Artistes du 15th arrondissement uh, in Paris in 2002 and the July Special Award five years later. In 2018, she won the International Life Drawing Marathon Montmartre, Paris. That's in the, the life drawing marathon are what uh, life drawing at March do. They do a, a full session where you, you draw for hours. So, God, I've never done that. I'd like to though. Um, her work uh, is included in private collections um, in Europe, US and Australia. And here you go, that's Christine stuff. A lovely, but lovely, lovely. I love me, you know, when I go to the life drawing sessions over there, I'm a bit of a natter. All right, next up we've got some dodgy old retrobate who should really know better than try and draw. Oh, it's me. Um, there we go, this, this is my, my efforts, I do apologise. Um, this first one, this is, this, this is a, uh, a pen, a uh, pen and ink. Um, just got a quick life drawing and the sketches. I think these were, I think that was a, that was a two minute one and these were two 10 minute ones, uh, poses. Um, just all knocked up on one page. Uh, and that was from the last session, so the Degar one. Uh, and there's another, I can't remember if this was the Degar one or not. I'm not entirely sure, I think this might have been from the week or the session before. It's still Denny, it's still the same model. But uh, if anyone wants to know anything about me, you can just stick me name in. You don't need me to talk about yourself, it's just crap. Basically, I was born, I started drawing, and I got here. Fuck knows how, but I got here. Can't remember any of it. Anyway, on the, oh, no, I do apologise, it's from Maria. I've never tried to pronounce your second name before. But here we go. This is Maria Kuzma Kuznirasko. Oh, God, I made a right mess of that, I'm sure. Um, but this is Maria. And Maria's very important, not only to the exhibition, but to my life as well. Um, uh, Maria is uh, the organiser uh, of the Life Drawing Montmartre, along with um, her partner in crime uh, and in the Life Drawing and Gallery, um, Jarek uh, Lipsky. Um, and um, as I say, she's the, the organiser of it. And uh, I, she's very dear to my heart. Um, I, I, some of you have probably heard this story before, but um, this lady 
literally changed my life. I was, I was bumming around in England, just drifting about. Um, my life was going nowhere apart from downwards. And so I decided to bugger off to Europe for a bit. And intended on just traveling through Paris. Um, I, I got to Paris and I thought, I, I've been there several times before and I knew I loved it. And I was just walking past this gallery and in my dodgy French, I managed to decipher a, a poster in the window saying, life drawing um, on uh, Dimanche, this was on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, so I just knocked on the door and thankfully Maria spoke English. Uh, and I was just signaled my way I come along and I went along and she's introduced me to um, such wonderful people. Um, two of them in particular, uh, Millie Yenkin, an Australian girl, and Rhea Firth. Uh, an, uh, uh, an American girl who lives in Paris. Um, you know, both were doing the uh, drawing at the same time. Um, and uh, these two girls have both taken me under my wing. You know, I've been over and I've stayed with them, and they've been over here and stayed with me. And Maria's been responsible for putting me in an exhibition and then putting on an exhibition with me and Rhea. Oh, it's just opened up a whole new world for me. I've got. I have got physical friends I can go and see in Paris now and um, changed my life completely. I really feel like I've expanded my life out of this country and yeah, it really saved me from I was drinking a lot of stuff. Uh, so I, I owe a hell of a lot to Maria and Jarek. Um, and so um, thank you so much for that. But uh, anyway, that's enough wor wor waffling about what they've done to me. I mean, Maria is brilliant anyway. Um, I'll, I'll read you the write up. Maria is the founder of Life Drawing Montmartre. In her personal work, she focuses on capturing the constant transitions the human body undergoes and how these changes are entwined with the emotional state and the personality of her subjects. Her drawings show bodies um, unidolized but in subtle and poetic way. The portrait subjects are often slightly mysterious, arousing interest, maybe even lust. So there you go. And these are lovely charcoal drawings as well. Eh? And I, I believe she's just finished a commission on, um, I think it was more like street art piece, if I'm not mistaken, by what I could see on Facebook, which is fantastic. And I, th I think she's, um, is it true that your uh, study like, got the qualifications in, in like anatomy and all sorts like that as well? I believe, but yeah, absolutely beautiful and beautiful person as well. Love at the pieces and and Jarek, or Yarek, sorry. Let's say that that day, just knocking on the gallery door and going in and speaking to Maria it literally changed the course of my life um, for the better. Really has. So I owe her a hell of a lot. I owe that whole that whole um, experience a hell of a lot. Anyway, right. On to the next one. This is Catherine Marrow. And these are, these are sweet little drawings, I love them. I love the naivety of the face, it's just so simply done. It's lovely, really sweet. But, oh, this one, I, I adore the, 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 this, the cuteness of the face in it, it's so beautiful. It reminds me of um, 1960s um, illustration in a child's book I had. Uh, which I just absolutely love. Maybe it's just sort of reminiscent of that, why I like it so much. I think it's beautiful. And these are beautiful little wall colours as well, uh, and in full glorious colour. So you can see that um, on the side. Anyway, Catherine says, um, Catherine is from Bordeaux, France, and particularly likes working from live models and loves the infinite variety of poses. She depicts nudes using different techniques and wants to add uh, wants to add with her work a little softness to our crazy world. Christ, we need some of that now, don't we? A little softness in this mayhem. Oh well, it's crazy times. We'll give us something to talk about when we're old. Well, some of us already are, I suppose. But yeah, anyway, it's Catherine's going for another close-up. He's a delightful, he's really are sweet. Alright, now we're on to another one. This is Tanya. Um, it's a Russian lady. Oh, 
gee, I, what, why do the people do this to me, honestly? Right, here we go with a second name now. I do apologise, Tanya, in advance. Right, her name is Tanya Shakovskaya. Shakovskaya? Maybe, hopefully. I don't know. I may have just renamed you. Sorry, love. Um, anyway, uh, Tanya says, My name is Tanya. Uh, I'm an artist based in Moscow. Uh, figure drawing is my passion, which helped me to understand both human forms and human feelings. Working in pastel, I can feel deeply each pose and share my emotions using colour, which she does lovely as well. Really nice. So here's, here's one of Denny. I think the shape, especially around the, uh, the bust area, I think the shape is absolutely beautiful in that. Really hangs lovely. Absolutely fantastic. And this is the other one. This is a great one of, of Denny holding her hair up. It's got quite long hair, Denny. Uh, it's, it looks jet black um, when you draw it. It's wonderful holding it up like that. Coming up. Here we go. Oh, I'll text. Oh, now the next person is someone else I've met. Um, again, at the gallery, I told you Maria changed my life completely. She introduced me to such beautiful people. Um, and this is Aura, uh, Aurora Levasseur. Levasseur? I hope. Something like that. Sorry, Aurora. Um, and uh, there, was, um, there was a competition at the um, Untitled Gallery, which Maria runs. Um, a couple of years back, which I entered, and I won a show with the aforementioned Rhea, the, the nutty American girl. Um, and uh, they, I was asked back, I think it was the following year, to be one of the judges. And um, there was three, as I walked into the gallery, as they were hanging it, uh, there were three that just jumped out at me. Um, there was Aurora's, um, Julie, uh, Mango and uh, Satiana, I can't remember a second name, um, but they're both, both of them people have actually showed in, in here with me as well. Um, and the three of them um, just jumped out and they, they, were, they stayed with me right the way through as my uh, first, second, and third. And yeah, I, I, I went with Aurora straight away and, and she won. She won. Um, um, uh, uh, her own solo show there, and oh yeah, um, I forgot Mia was with me as well. Mia's just sent a little heart. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, so uh, that was awesome. Yeah, she won it and had a great grand. So her paintings are fantastic. Huge, big female oil paintings and colours. Ah, oh, a real good professional, traditional quality painter. Absolutely beautiful her stuff. I love it. One of the best painters I think I've, I've come across in many years, the young painters anyway. And this is obviously a little collage, I'm guessing these were the 10 minutes, uh, 2 minute sketches, I think. I missed the first ones because being an idiot I got my times wrong, I keep forgetting it's a different time between me here and France. But these are beautiful, they're lovely, and these are just absolutely Perfect studies of the human form is wonderful, aren't they? Such simplicity and clear, clearness of lines. Absolutely awesome. And there's Denny with a big sulfur eyes again. She has got amazing eyes, this, this model. It's really big. Sulfur eyes. There you go. Right. Now we're on to someone called Nam. That's all I've got is Nam, N-A-M. Um, so I'm guessing if you punch that in somewhere, um, you'll find it. Um, if I can find a link, I'm going to whack it up on, on the lockdown Facebook page anyway, so you can join and have a look. Um, so she's Nam, and his works do actually really remind me of Dago. I know the session was um, set up um, as a kind of tribute to, to Dago's um, uh, poses. But uh, yeah, this is names, and these are these are beautiful pastel drawings, quite colourful as well. And there's the other one with her. It's such a classical pose, this in the tail turban. And Nam says, um, uh, "I am a painter living in the San Francisco Bay area, drawing and painting. 
have helped me cope with the current isolation in the USA. Thank you all to fellow artists all over the world for providing us with comforts and escape during this difficult time. So there you go. Hello Deb, wonder where you was. Hope you're alright lovely. Hope you've not been blown away or blown up by the storms. Um, so that's Nam's work. Right, oh now this one's quite interesting. And it is by Amanda Kunar Batista. Uh, now Amanda um, has got a personal connection to the model. Um, I will read out what she wrote and you'll know why. I'm a Brazilian born translator, artist and lover of film. I made these as an exploration of the model as a godlike character doing everyday activities. Since I know Denny personally, she is my wife, there you go. I tend to always infer little narratives into everything we create together. So there you go. This is from the model's actual wife. So they're quite nice and personal. And I'd love to um, perhaps show them to, in the show. Glad to have them as part of it. There you go. This one I love as well. I don't know why, it's just such a beautiful little narrative going on there. Really love it. It's out of a storybook or something. It's wonderful. Really do like that one. Right, onto this person only sent one in. Um, so you've only got one to show, I'm afraid. And it's uh, Myron Lesnier. Something like that, Lesnier. Anyway, uh, all I got from was um, Packaging Inf innovation designer at Chanel Beauty. That, that's all I got, I, I can't tell you anymore, I'm afraid. But um, it was a beautiful drawing, very simple, very lovely. Really nice pose as well, I don't know. Hello, Paula. Good Lord, I haven't seen you in ages, with your wife. So that's that one. All right, on to the last two artists now. Nice stormy weather out the uh, gallery window. No rain yet, still stifling hot though. Right, now this is um, Dylan, this one. Um, and Dylan's work, not oh, crazy, it's lovely. Uh, pretty bright and colourful as well, if I remember rightly. Uh, uh, and these will be up, there's more than these two, as with quite a few of the other artists, there's more than just the two I've, I've shown. Um, will be up on, on the uh, Lockdown Gallery page for you to view. Um, this first one's like a pastel and chalk drawing. And Dylan says, um, Dylan is a multi-model um, alchemist creative enjoying a COVID-19 hermitage. I'm retired at 61 for an extreme lifestyle, from an extreme lifestyle of juggling multiple vocations and delighted to be focusing on one simple thing. Uh, my well-being, uh, growing the soul with the intention to dive deeper into beauty. Dylan thanks his, hers, theirs, mixed-race, Hawaiian and Yugoslavian ancestors. Oh, that's cool. Um, for the creative gifts passed along and the artists who have meandered before, from whose ex excavations uh, our awareness of consciousness has expanded. With gratitude for another day alive. There you go. Now his other one he sent in is very different. It's lovely. I actually love it. It's kind of like art brute or naive art or something. Um, it's lovely. It's, it's just a simple pen drawing or, and it's on cardboard, like a cardboard box. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's just, oh, it's fantastic. I do like a bit of uh, art brute or, or whatever. Right, on to our last one. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately for you, because I can't, I could stop rabbiting, you know, if there's not the crap I keep churning out. Um, hasn't sent me anything to read out, um, but her name was Nikita. So if anyone knows Nikita in the group, um, you know who she is. But these are just beautiful little charcoal pencil drawings. There. And another one. Yeah, of Denny, I think drawing with a towel, if I remember rightly. Here we go. So that's that's the show. 
I'll give you a quick switch round as I get my wine. Right, here we go. So here's the show in kind of full or brief. I love the light in this corner. I've got a new lighting system fitted in this corner and it's beautiful. I'm going to spend out and get the other lighting system on this side done so we'll have better lighting for the next show as well. There you go. Right, time for wine and wind down. Hang on, let's just fit you over. There we go. Hello, sorry, me again. Alright, um, let's put you down here. I've got some, I'll be back in a minute, I've got some notes somewhere. Uh, I do apologise, I'm wearing shorts by the way. This is a bit of a shock for most people, I, I don't usually. Men in shorts should be banned in public, so I, I do apologise. Um, but it's just too fucking damn hot out here. Oh. Uh, anyway, it could be worse. It could be cold and crappy. Right. Uh, but the notes for it are, uh, this show I'm going to leave up running for two weeks. Not the one as advertised. It's going to go on for two because it's just so fucking fantastic. Um, if anyone wants to come along and visit the gallery, see the show, and even have a studio visit. My studio is only... Um, uh, down. This is in the front of my house, my studio is in the um, bottom of my garden, so you know, come do both if you like. Uh, come and join in, do some painting if you want, I don't mind. Um, but I am desperately trying to sell my house and um, bugger off, um, just get away from it and you know, just sell up as quick as I can and bugger to France as well, bugger off to France for a while and all. So there's, you know, everyone out there is making the most of this space whilst we've got it. I'm not, I won't charge you anything, come along and have a play, do what you want, I don't care. Uh, I mean, what, anyone that knows me knows I don't give a fuck anyway, so... It's a space for you to enjoy and put on what you like. There's no censorship, no nothing, no costs, no money. Just come and enjoy yourself, have a bloody good laugh. And we'll film it, put it out, who cares. Um, viewing though is by appointment only, not because of Covid or anything like that, I just... Don't want you randomly turning up and catching me doing something illegal, as I'm often doing. Um, um, and I've got to say a massive thanks to massive thank you to Lena, um, who, without her help, I wouldn't have been able to put the show on today because she uh, supplied uh, me with uh, a lot of help to getting them done and uh, getting them done and sorted on time. So massive thanks to her, bless her little heart. Um, also, um, after this closes in two weeks, um, I'm pretty much empty, so take the submissions for shows, you can have the place as long as you like. Uh, we can even do like a, a one day wonder, um, where if you want to bring your work along in the morning, uh, we can hang it, uh, film it, have a private view in the evening, have a piss up afterwards, take your work down and bugger off home again, um, so you don't have to come and go and collect it stuff, so if you want to just visit for one day and do it. We can do that, um, and it, it will look good on your CV, it'll look good on my CV, on well, the gallery's CV, um, and it'll just be fun. Um, so we can do that, we can do a day one, we can do a week one, two week one, whatever you like, I don't care, come and do whatever you like here. Come and put on a play or whatever, I don't know, club night or something, no, I don't really care, maybe not a club night. Um, oh, fuck it, why not? Uh, whatever, yeah, yeah it's, it's your space to play with, it's not going to cost you a thing. Um, just have fun with it. Um, right, where else was I? Um, I do. I hope to um, you know get some interest for that anyway, because uh, just I don't want to lose it anyway. 
Um, so I'm not sure what's up next, but if someone else wants to apply and do something, space is yours. If not, I've got um, the cabinet of the Cactus Camel um, penciled in for, I think, the first week in October as a blatant attack on the Christmas market. It's a load of crap um, I've been making and drawing. Basically, it's all, all I, I packed up ready to leave because um, I thought my house would sell quicker. So I packed up a load of stuff to go to charity shops. And then when my house didn't sell, I had to unpack it all. And of course, I don't want it. So I started making art out of it. And it's just crap. And also my overflowing recycling bin. Um, yeah, so I've, I've, I've utilised it. It's, it's rubbish art made from rubbish. Um, but I'm going to blatantly put it up and charge people extortionate amount of money for Christmas gifts. Fuck them. It's a capitalist world. I might as well enjoy it. Um, so that's probably beginning of October, um, and I desperately want to come to Paris, I'm still trying to work out whether it's, whether I can or not, whether I'm allowed to, whether I'm allowed to get out of bed in the morning, no one's quite well, sure over it. One day we're allowed to do something, and the next day we're, um, I don't know, shackled up in chains, not really allowed to do anything, so God knows. But I think I'm, it's just, I think that's, this is about as good as it's going to get, I think, now, so... I'm going to hopefully book up and come to see everyone in Paris in mid-September. Um, so that might be the only other thing in the way of putting an exhibition on. But um, yeah, yeah the gallery is all yours if, if you want it. But anyway, hope you like the show. Um, I was quite a good boy tonight. I didn't fucking swear much. Oops. And I, and I wasn't too offensive, I hope. Um, as usual, but we'll make up for that, uh, especially with the Cactus Camel show. Oh my god, um, I can't believe the last show we had with Rat and City is still up on Facebook and no one's removed it. How the hell we've got pie that? I don't know. Um, but I think I think Jeff's gonna come around for the Cactus Camel one, which is gonna be even worse. But anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for joining me. Um, now, uh, go away.